Hello everyone, my name is Seth, and today I'm going to give you my top 5 most anticipated movies for the remainder of 2023. It's hard to believe that we're already a fourth of the way through the year. There's been a lot of good movies to come out so far this year. I mean... It's been a good year so far for film, and I'm excited for the rest of the year. And so since we are already a fourth of the way through the year, and since I did not start posting videos again until like February, I've missed the beginning to do the top 10 or top five of the whole year. So now I want to give you my top five films that I am most looking forward to for the rest of the year. First, I'm going to go ahead and give you some honorable mentions, the ones that I'm still excited for, not quite in my top five, but I'm not going to be able to mention everything I'm excited for, so there still might be some left off that I'm still going to be excited for, but here's some of the honorable mentions I have. My first honorable mention is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom coming out in December. I really had a lot of fun with the first Aquaman film. Go back on my channel. I did a video where I rank the DCEU movies. And you'll have some more of my thoughts on the first Aquaman there. But I am excited for Aquaman 2. Next on my honorable mentions is Blue Beetle coming out in August. I'm excited for that. I think the trailer looks fun. I do think it might have a potential to struggle at the box office. Especially with what we've seen with Black Adam or Wish Shazam. So, I hope that's not the case. This was originally meant to be a straight HBO Max movie, but it got promoted to the big leagues, and so I'm excited to see how this turns out. Next is the Marvels in November. It's another big Marvel movie. I'm excited. It'll further the story of the MCU. The premise seems really fun with Captain Marvel, Photon, which I'm assuming that's what they're going to call her. We'll, we'll see in the movie. And Miss Marvel switching places anytime they use their powers that'll be really interesting and the trailer looks fun next is barbie in july i know looking at me i don't necessarily look like somebody who might would be excited for a barbie movie but there is a lot of talent behind this so i'm really excited for it weirdly enough like the trailers seem fun and kind of weird and don't exactly know what's going on but it is enough to be an honorable mention here on my list. And here, another one in July is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. They have nailed the Mission Impossible movies over the past few years. And coming off of Top Gun Maverick, I'm super excited to see what Tom Cruise has done with this film. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a great summer action film. So I'm excited to see this when it comes out. My last honorable mention here is in June. And it is The Flash. I'm not going to comment on all of the mess surrounding it. But by all accounts, the director, Andy Muschietti, has made a good movie. James Gunn has said it's one of the best superhero movies he's seen. So I'm going to go into it wanting just to see a fun superhero movie. We'll see what it delivers. I'm very interested. There's a lot of good rumors coming about the movie itself so it's hard not to get excited when there's a lot of people kind of from behind closed doors in the halls of wonder brothers saying that it's really good and they're really excited for people to see it but here we go officially my top five here at number five is going to be elemental i'm really excited for this the trailers the teasers whatever you want to call them they haven't given us a lot to go off of but this seems to be a really interesting world that Pixar has made. And I mean, never doubt Pixar, right? Pixar does such great work. And so just a completely new idea with like the whole new world and with Pixar behind it. Like it's hard not to be super excited for it. So this comes in at number five on my list. Number four coming out in July is... Oppenheimer. I am 
so excited for Oppenheimer. I mean, I love Christopher Nolan. He's one of my favorite filmmakers. I mean, the Dark Knight trilogy is one of the best trilogies of all time. Say what you want about The Dark Knight Rises. I really enjoy it. It's a good movie. I don't think Christopher Nolan has ever made a bad movie. Like, all of his films are at least really good. So, I'm really excited about this. This has an amazing cast. I think his visual style, just everything, can come together to make a really special film. And I love Killian Murphy. He's awesome in everything. And so I am super, super excited to see this when it comes out in July. Here at number three on my list, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Coming out in June. I am so, so super excited for this. I love Indiana Jones. That's one of my favorite film franchises. At least the original trilogy. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I contend that if it wasn't an Indiana Jones movie and it was just some kind of random adventure movie that had the same plot and everything, I think people would receive it better. I don't think the movie is really all that bad. It's just as an Indiana Jones film, it just doesn't live up to what it can and should be. But I am so excited for this. This will be Harrison Ford's last time playing Indiana Jones. All of the trailers look amazing. They look like they absolutely capture the Indiana Jones feel. I think Phoebe Waller-Bridge will play a great supporting character to Indiana Jones. And some of the flashback sequences it seems like we're going to get is awesome. Mads Mikkelsen is the villain. That'll be great. He, I mean, he's just an amazing villain. Like, he's just made to be a really cool and intimidating villain. And we got James Mangold directing this. The guy who did Logan, the guy who did Ford v. Ferrari, like, he is one of the best directors working today. And so there's a lot of reasons to be super excited for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Number two on my list is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and that is coming out in June. There's a lot of June and July and August tiers. So these summer movie months are going to be absolutely packed. And I am so excited for this. I absolutely loved the first Spider-Verse movie. It was just like a breath of fresh air, really, with like the animation style and everything like that. It was just so well done. I don't know if I like it as much as everybody else does, because everybody else seems to say it's the best Spider-Man movie. I don't know if I would go as far to say that, but I do really love the original. I love what they did, and it seems like I'm absolutely going to love what they did with this film. The trailers look awesome. The first one, I wasn't blown away by, but I knew there was enough there to get me super excited. But the second trailer, I was like, okay, I'm 100% all in. I got more excited. That's what trailers are supposed to do. They're supposed to get you more excited for the film. And that last trailer just turned my excitement level up to 11. I'm so excited to see what they do here. I'm sure there's going to be some great action, some really great visuals. I mean, there's probably going to be multiple frames in this where I'm going to want that as a computer background, my phone background or something. And I'm so excited to see what they do with these characters. I know they're going to give us some really heartfelt moments. And I'm excited to see what they do. And plus, Oscar Isaac as kind of one of the antagonists. I mean, that'll be great. I'm so excited. And now my number one most anticipated movie of the year. May or may not be a surprise to some people, but it is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 coming out in May, not too long from now. I am so excited for this. I love the first Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, who doesn't? I really, really like the second Guardians of the Galaxy. Not as good as the first, but it's still a really good movie. And, I mean, I love these characters. Like, James Gunn has done such a great job getting you to just fall in love with these characters. And even their appearances in the Avengers movies and anywhere else they pop up. Like, I love it. Like, they are just so magnetic and I love the family dynamic 
And this will be the last adventure for this iteration of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, the trailer just made me feel a little nervous for Rocket. Uh, kind of seems like they're building up to where this might be the end for Rocket, which that will be absolutely heartbreaking. I, I know this is going to be just a super heartfelt film. Like, that's just something that James Gunn is good at. He's good at taking these wild, crazy characters and abstract concepts and things like that and making you care and delivering emotion. And this definitely seems like it'll be emotional. This will be James Gunn's last film of Marvel since he's now the head of DC Studios. And so this really is kind of like a swan song for multiple different reasons. I really think that this is going to knock it out of the park. I am so incredibly excited for this. And not too long now. I already have my tickets. I can't wait. So that's it. That is my top five most anticipated movies for the rest of 2023. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Comment below. What are some of your most anticipated movies for the rest of the year? And are there any that I didn't name? Are there any that I overlooked? Let me know in the comment section below. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at CinemaSeth. And go ahead and like the video, hit subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can receive notifications when I upload my next video. And I'll see you next time.